Hello everyone, a warm welcome to you wherever you are to this Audacious Church Daily Devotional. I'm Jed Tyrrell and I'm part of the Audacious Central Campus in Manchester. I'm an entrepreneur and part of the Church Business Leadership Team. If you're in business or corporate leadership and want to know more, head over to audaciouschurch.com forward slash business. In this series, we're focusing on relationships and today I've been asked to talk about life-giving relationships in church. When I prayed about this, I was led to this passage in Acts. It's Acts 5, 12 to 14. The apostles performed many signs and wonders among the people, and all the believers used to meet together in Solomon's colonnade. No one else dared join them, even though they were highly regarded by the people. Nevertheless, more and more men and women believed in the Lord and were added to their number. I wonder if any of you have ever done something simple or even random for someone, just like a phone call or shared a meal with someone or sent a simple gift and they've said to you that you have no idea how much that means to me. Maybe you've had an experience of someone doing something for you and it turned out that it was the one very thing that you needed at that time. The reason I ask you those questions and you might also be wondering to yourselves what's this got to do with relationships and without taking away from the miracles we read of in the Bible it depends on what you understand to constitute signs and wonders as we read about here. I want to briefly explore exactly what are signs and wonders and how those are linked to how the church grew back then and also for us today. When I first came to Audacious with my son Ethan nearly seven years ago, I had nothing left, running on empty and I just wanted to be in God's presence to worship and to find myself again. What we witnessed and experienced in those we met was love for each other, love for the community and a passion for Jesus along with a willingness to serve each other and him. There was a desire to move forwards, to be relevant. For me, just the welcome and the love was all the signs and wonders I needed. So don't underestimate what a sign and wonder looks like. It may look very low-key, even something you might take for granted. But this was the start of a much deeper impact God was having on my life over the years to follow. It could be that it's all that is needed to bring someone new or meet them exactly where they need to be met. What is also clear to me now is that the heart of all of what goes on in our church is the intention to work on our relationships. I'm sure they're not all perfect, <laughs> but it is out of the way we work with each other as we respond to our relationship with Jesus that we have such an impact. Every week we do the welcome. Don't ever underestimate the sign this is to newcomers and the wonder they receive in that moment as we celebrate them joining our tribe. Alongside the big miracles that we see today, there are signs and wonders to be seen and experienced going on all the time as we serve each other as a fellowship of believers. I'm sure that to those early churchgoers, the signs and wonders they saw could have had the same simplicity as a warm welcome, the sharing of a meal, prayer support or to be listened to in their time of need. I want to encourage you all in the fellowship that what we may maybe see as normal mode in the way we do church every week, these are in themselves signs and wonders that resonate 
with everyone who walks through our doors. I'm sure this explains that bit in the Bible, that despite it appearing to be a little scary to join, more and more were added to their number daily, which would only happen if those present were working on the relationships with each other and those who were coming for the first time. We shouldn't be surprised really either. When Jesus summarised all the commandments into just two commandments, he said to love our God with all our heart, body, soul and mind. This is the utmost relationship. And to love our neighbours as ourselves. This is how we love each other. So since those, both those commandments are about relationships, we can take it that it is intended as being the heart and the vehicle behind everything we do. I'll just pray and then hope you have some takeaway from this and, uh, and this little bit of time we've had together. Thank you, Jesus, that you talk so much about relationships and how important they are. Please remind us that whether it's a tiny act of kindness or a difficult expression of grace towards someone, maybe we don't at first like, or forgiveness for a wrongdoing. All these things are signs and wonders of who you are and to those who might be watching. I pray that today we would, we would get, get the chance and be able to rise to the challenge of showing someone a sign and wonder in the way we react to a situation in our relationships with those around us, noting that everyone is taking note of how we respond in different situations. Forgive us, Lord, when we've had a cross words with others and help us to have grace and forgiveness at the heart of a desire to reflect in ourselves how you would be with those around us. Amen and have a great day.